Hello and welcome to iPhone Coding. This is the third tutorial, which is a continuation from our Hello World Intermediate version. And um, I knew I know that we were talking about views in the last tutorial that we were going to be writing this view from scratch, but we'll actually do it in a whole new set of tutorial called Views. Um, so today, what we're going to do is just continue with our app delegate. So just crack open Xcode and the Hello World file, the Hello World project. Sorry. And once we do that, there's a few things that we want to do immediately. Um, oh, by the way, in this app uh, application, we're also going to learn how to add an icon file and a default load screen image, not a splash screen image, a default load screen image. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our interface. Now, the point of this tutorial was to click a button and it will present the string hello world to the screen. So we're going to drag a button onto the view and we're going to write show hello and what we're going to do now is make sure we still have our label here and we do now we can save it because this is pretty much all we need on our interface and we want to go to our app delegate.h and we want to create the action that will take place once the button is pressed now we can do that by declaring the keyword IB action to notify interface builder that an action is present when that button is to be clicked. So it says IB action and we're going to call this action show name because we are sorry show hello because we want uh, it to show hello world once we press on it. So now we want to go to our dot M, M file and we want to actually implement this action. We're going to implement this action right above our application did finish launching. And we're going to write the type, which is IB action, show hello. And we are going to open up our brace brackets and type our code. And our code is going to be to update the labels text attribute to be that string that we wanted, hello world, just like we did in the last tutorial. Okay, now that we've done that, we can save and go back to Interface Builder and create our connections. You want to tap your Hello World app delegate, and you want to connect from the Show Hello action to the Show Hello button, and you want to make sure you press on the attribute touch up inside to make sure that when the user touches inside and lifts up on the button, the text is presented. If the user touches down on the button and removes his finger, the button, the text should not be presented. So we can save that and we can build it and go. Oh, sorry. I forgot the equal sign. And we can build and go. And as you can see, um, show hello is here. Uh, but we have a problem because the text is still in our application did finish launching so let's remove that and let's build and run again and as you can see there's no text and when we click on the button hello world appears now let's go ahead and add an icon file and a default load screen file we can do this by creating a 57 by 57 pixeled image in Photoshop or any sort of sort of image creator and once you've created that image, I've already have created those images. I think I threw them out, so I'm going to find them quickly. Um, yeah, mine's called Icon PNG. I'm going to, you have to call it Icon PNG, and you have to call your default load screen image default.png. So I'm going to drag it into the resources directory, add it to my groups and files. And I'm also going to take the default PNG uh, that I have. I don't think it's that one. I think there's another one. Yeah, that's it. Um, we're going to drag this onto our desktop. I just need to rename it quickly. Because it has to be named default PNG, right? So now that I've rena renamed it, I can drag it into my resources file folder. And what we want to do is we want to go to this uh, file called info.plist. And what this is, this is an XML file that basically holds some standard data for our application. Uh, where it says icon file, we're going to add a value of icon.png, which was what was just initially showed um, as our uh, picture. 
uh, that we saved on our photo editor. And what this uh, info plist could do is a bunch of nifty things like, um, uh, for instance, say you wanted to set uh, the style for the top uh, load bar, like the toolbar at the top in, in any iPhone application. You can go and create a, a status bar style and you can create that style to be, I don't know, translucent black and um, it'll automatically load that up for you. So now what we want to do is click build and go. And once we've done that, we see that show hello world works. The hello world application now has an icon image. And when we click on it, a default load screen image happens. But because the application is loading so fast on my Intel based Mac, uh, you don't see it. So what I'm going to do is slow it down a bit and go to our application did finish launching and just add a call to the sleep function. Tell it to sleep for three seconds so you can see the picture. And now when it loads up, you can see our default load image and our application launches. You also notice that the status bar's uh, orientation is black. Um, just to let you know, for the default image, it has to be named default.png, and it's a width 32, 320 pixels and a height of 480 pixels. And uh, the icon size image is 57 by 57 pixels. And uh, that's it for this uh, iPhone Advanced app, uh, Hello World Advanced tutorial, and we'll get started with our uh, next tutorial set next week. Don't worry about this uh, warning. Okay, so for your own um, learnings, try to create your own application with your own icon file and default uh, image, and uh, try to print your own line of text to the screen clicking a button. Take care.